So you can see that the tips have different line thicknesses. Okay, you're going to have tips one, two, three, five. The smaller the number, the thinner the line. Okay, so on here, which each table will have one, you are going to cut, you're going to cut thin sketch lines. I would recommend first, so use the smaller numbers first, and then you're going to use the larger ones. Just like in this picture, hold your linoleum cutter away from you. All right. Why do we want to make sure our linoleum cutters are away from us? Mm -hmm. It's a safety thing, right? Okay. Your hands here. You don't want to be cutting towards yourself. You don't want to be cutting away from yourself. Okay. And um, I will get a poster up. I'm going to pull up a poster that I have so you can see it better. But these are the handles, and this part right here with the texture, you turn it counterclockwise. So you know that expression, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Mm -hmm. So you're loosening it. And when you loosen it, you'll see inside there a loose piece that wiggles around, and there's a little gap, like a semicircle. Okay, I know you can't see it very well. <coughs> Can you see it? Here. Can you see it? <coughs> okay. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put these tips down so you can see the tips. So obviously this is a really wide tip. That's probably a 5. And you can tell because the number is going to be the, on the other side. So that's a 5, definitely. This looks like a 3. Okay, so 5, 3. Let's see if I can find. This must be a 1. And I don't know if I... Oh, that's a 2. Wow, that was great. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead. The one, I notice sometimes the ink goes in there. I generally don't use the one. I'm going to go ahead and start with the twos. You'll notice on here, on the rounded side is where the numbers are. One tip has a very sharp point. The other is rounded. The rounded part goes inside that little hole. See how it's like a semicircle? It goes in that semicircle opening. So it's loose, so now I can put that tip all the way in. And see how it just fell right through? Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. I took that out and I put it right through. If you're not sure where it goes, don't force it in. Because if you force it in, you might jam it and it, you, know, you might break it. So make sure if you're not sure, come see me and I'll help you with that. What am I going to have to do before I start using it? Lefty, loosey. Have to tighten it. So what, which way do I turn? Righty tighty. Righty tighty. Clockwise. Think about you know going to the right like a clock. Clockwise. So now as I turn it, I'm tightening it. Until it, you don't have to tighten it to the point where you know it hurts your fingers, but it doesn't move anymore, and it's not going to come out because I've tightened it in there. <laughs> now, on your on your uh, easy cut plate, what did we say? What are you going to carve, Sam? gray. Anywhere where it's gray. Where you have the black sharpie lines, you really don't want to carve. Before you start carving on your image, I highly recommend that you use the other side. You can see I've used it a lot. And just kind of practice using the tool. Okay? I'm going to just practice right here. Practice. Hold it. Hold your easy cut plate on the bottom. Hold your cutting tool away from you. And practice sliding it away from you. And you're going to have these little scraps that come off. So there's a straight line. See if you can practice also a curve line. Because you might have some curve lines that you need to do. So who knows, what did I do differently that time when I went to do a curve line? Mikey? Uh, yeah, I just kind of slowly, I kept my tool pointing up, but I slowly turned my easy cut plate. Okay. And then for short lines, or short textures, okay, all those different kinds of textures, okay, you're going to make different kinds of lines. If you think there's going to be an area where you're going to really cut a lot, you could switch the tips, okay? So you can see, I'll leave that up on my front table so you can see the variations. And you can practice it on the back. Um, yes? 
the back. If Let a... me go over this first, and then I'll take questions. Okay. So I know that I want to carve inside right here between the iris, the white part, basically. So when I do that, I will go in here. I will turn it, and then I just kind of pull it off. And you're going to start having a pile. If you start having a big pile, this is for everyone at your table to share, to just kind of, you know, it's like a little trash pile. And then I'm going to go here. Okay. Basically, if you look at this blade, it's kind of like a, a V. That's the blade. So it's, in a way, it's like, you know when you shovel snow? It's kind of like you're shoveling, okay? You're shoveling. The very top of the blade, you don't want going in. You're kind of sliding and scooping. It's like an ice cream scoop, kind of. If you go too deep and the tips get hidden in there, is that gonna be able to cut very well? No. No. So the very top tips, you always wanna be able to see as you're working, okay? So I highly recommend you to practice before you <coughs> do it on your image, okay? And you can, you can feel it where you did the carving. Anybody have any questions? Okay, stop.